What's going on everybody? Ken Howard, Green Mountain Defense, coming at you today to talk about the Dark Angel Medical Ankle Med Kit. So, um, obviously as you can see, we've got a lot of stuff laid out on the table to talk about today. Uh, the first thing we're going to film is a just a quick discussion about a topic that is extremely important to us here at GMD. And honestly, should be important to you, whether you're a shooter or not. And that is a quick discussion on EDC medical equipment. So, besides the big bags and the IFACs and the tourniquet belt pouches and all the cool range stuff and all the cool everyday living, hunting, fishing, kayaking, camping, canoeing, whatever stuff that you may or may not carry in your vehicle or in a backpack or whatever, the concept of EDC is really simply that you will deal with the situation with what you have on your person, right? You're not going to be able to grab all the bags and all the tools in the world and run around and save the planet necessarily. You're going to get into a situation with what you have on you. I have been carrying medical gear EDC on my person for a long time using this North American Rescue Ankle Medical Kit. This kit contains a tourniquet. In this case, I've got a soft tee in there. Um, everybody knows about the differences between soft tees and cat tourniquets, and I'm not even going to say the names of some of the others because, you know, use the stuff that works. Don't use knockoffs. Don't buy your med gear on Amazon, please. We'll get there in a second. Um, but bottom line, there's a soft tee wide. Here is a little bit of vacuum Z folded gauze. And here is an emergency trauma dressing, an ETD, all flattened up and laid out. And this kit has been what I have been wearing on my person for a long time. And no disrespect to any of the folks at NAR, they sell great medical stuff, they sell good tourniquets, they sell good kits, etc. Uh, that being said, look. I was finding this to be a little inadequate giving, given what has been happening uh, recently. So I decided to upgrade. Where did I go to upgrade? A very natural place, darkangelmedical.com, guy by the name of Kerry Davis. Uh, I'm going to have him on our uh, podcast, the Slinging Lead podcast coming up and stuff. Uh, Dark Angel has been putting out quality training and quality med kits for a long time. This is their EDC designed ankle med kit. So this kit contains a cat tourniquet, a set of, pull this tab here, hyphen vented chest seals, some compression bandage, a compression bandage, not some compression bandages, a chest decompression needle, for retention pneumothorax. And lastly, but not leastly, some Z Fold Cheeto XR Pro gauze and a set of nitrile gloves, size large, I do believe. So, that is obviously, let me get this all stuff back in here considerably more than what I was carrying previously, right? Um, the thing is, is it's the same really footprint, so I don't have to stress about, you know, where I'm putting all this extra stuff. All we really have to do is make sure that the kit is assembled correctly in the first place. And everything should work just fun. It's got these little red pull tabs that you just kind of pull up like that to hold your stuff. And there you go, you got an ankle med kit, right? One, two, three, four, five, six items in that kit, as opposed to just these three. What did I add? I added chest seals, I added a, a uh, compression chest decon needle, I added gloves. Um, I've still got the gauze, I've still got the compression bandage, and I've still got the tourniquet. 
This should be enough to get you through an individual incident on, on one person with one wound. Is this a comprehensive trauma bag that's going to save the world and save the planet? No, absolutely not, it's not. This is enough to get the party started. Uh, I'll give you a perfect example on this. I was recently on my way to uh, an event on the other side of town, and on the highway I was in, not involved in, I was witness to a four-car accident. Nobody had done any assessment. There was no patient assessment done. There were simply four individuals still in their cars or out of their cars calling 911 going, oh, please help me, please help me. And 911 was getting four stories at once with no good info on any casualties, injuries, anything like that. Uh, so I put my vehicle in a safe place away from the possibility of getting it hit more. And I went to do some patient assessment and I was thankful that none of this had to come out of this kit because I was wearing it. But the truth is, that I did not reach into the back of my Jeep and grab the big awesome sauce bag and take it with me. I simply had this on my purse. I realized as I was assessing patients that if I had actually needed something, I would have had access to what I had on my purse. So, point is, if you're a range guy, if you're an instructor guy, if you're a competitor guy, whoever you are, whatever you're doing with guns, or out in your everyday life, there's no reason not to have some medical tools on your person to be an asset instead of a liability. The event I was going to was a Cirque du Soleil show at, um, at a big arena, metal detectors, wands, this, that, everything else. No Glock, no Beretta, no other Glock, no mini Glock, no knife, no nothing. The only things I could get through were my cell phone, my flashlight, my uh, and my med kit and my keys. I was able to take some uh, OC spray with me because it was in a plastic container and their wand didn't get it. But I had OC, this, a cell phone, a wallet, and a phone. That's all I had on me. Point being, if you're going to a big event, if you're going to be around a bunch of people, if there's a possibility for a mass casualty situation, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, um, and you can't carry your defensive tools, which I I'm not in love with, but you're kind of in NPE. Most places you can still get this through. They they searched me and found this on me and let me through anyway. So carry medical, seek out good sources. North American Rescue is a great one. Dark Angel Medical is a great one. www.darkangelmedical.com, www.northamericanrescue.com. Find them on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff. I'm Ken Howard with Green Mountain Defense, reminding you please like, favorite, subscribe, and share. Check us out for training online, www.greenmountaindefense.com. Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, all at Green Mountain Defense. Also doing the Sling and Lead podcast with my buddy TJ. Check us out, Sling and Lead podcast on YouTube and on iTunes and on uh, anywhere awesome podcast stuff is served. Check that out. We do live most Wednesday nights, 9.30 Eastern Time. Thanks, guys. Carry medical. Stop making excuses. It's real easy. It's real affordable. Later.